Hello everybody, welcome to Goodman Lego Creations. I'm Nick Goodman, and thank you for tuning in to my custom Lego set review. Today, I will be reviewing the Vietnam era US PBR, or Patrol Boat River, produced by Brickmania. The sticker set and instructions for this set are available in the Brickmania instruction book, Vietnam Bricks. The book retails for 60 US dollars and includes instructions for a number of other vehicles ranging from helicopters to tanks. I used Bricklink to source my parts and for the complete set with all brand new parts it cost about $140 to complete this build. There are an additional $20 in Brick Arms weapons situated throughout the model. The Vietnam War era PBR was a lightweight patrol craft deployed throughout Vietnam from 1966 to the US withdrawal in 1975. Its primary deployment areas were the Saigon River and of course, the Mekong Delta. The PBR is perhaps most well known for the role it played in Francis Ford Coppola's 1979 film Apocalypse Now. To begin with, I'd like to say that overall, I'm a big fan of this model. As far as Lego boats go, hole shaping techniques are always a difficult task, and the shape of this model doesn't look too bad. But, it is definitely one of the more dated boat building techniques. Aside from the bow, the rest of the model's construction looks really good with a solid design for the covered wheelhouse and the multiple gun emplacements. One of the things I like the most about this model is the subtle tapering of the stern. The effect is achieved quite nicely with hinged parts and it really flushes out the profile of the boat. As far as the color scheme goes, the dark bluish gray isn't exactly accurate to the real world boat, but due to LEGO's lack of military green colored bricks, I feel that it works quite well. This model has six stickers on it. There is a US military star on the top of the canopy, the name Erebus on the stern of the boat, a direct nod to Apocalypse Now and its source book, The Heart of Darkness. It has a diesel fuel print for an oil drum, a bullet hole on one of the gun walls, a gun turret shield sticker displaying canned heat, and of course, Colonel Kilgore's surfboard. Each sticker is included with the purchase of the instruction book, along with the US flag. One thing that disappointed me quite a bit is that the flag included is pretty much one-sided, with a shiny side and a non-shiny side. For this reason, I purchased a different flag from Cape Madness when they were still operating. The three gun emplacements really show how much firepower these tiny boats had as they patrolled the waterways of Vietnam. The Stern M2HB can rotate nearly 270 degrees, only stopped by the two gun walls behind it. This turret has a pretty nice set of shields with the previously mentioned canned heat sticker. The M60 can be placed on either one of the protective walls with the use of an official LEGO clip. The most impressive gun on the whole model is the dual M2HB configuration on the bow, which, in its inset turret, can rotate nearly 360 degrees with a figure comfortably manning it. The bow of the ship uses a fairly simple but ultimately effective rail design to curve out the bow of the boat. Despite the blocky construction underneath, the flow of this hinged assembly really curves out the front of the model. Behind the turret on the face of the cabin are a few of the equipment pieces and structures found on the real PBR, from the location light to antennas and even the large circular radar assembly. By removing the canopy, the inside of the model can easily be accessed. Within this boat, there is the wheel where, with the help of a few plates, a figure can stand and properly drive the PBR. There are a few nice details in the other half of the interior space, from a gun rack to a fire extinguisher, but, all in all, there really isn't much there. For my final thoughts, I would say that this is quite a nice LEGO model. 
With the cost of the parts and instruction book, I believe this model is worth the price, especially for those Apocalypse Now fans such as myself. The details are nice, the build is very sturdy, and it is easily the best LEGO version of the PBR available. I would recommend this kit to any LEGO collector with an interest in the Vietnam War or boats in general. The size is very nice and a good scale for a collection. The smaller size allows it to be easily embedded into a diorama or mock. Overall, I would rate this model a 7.5 out of 10. Despite the somewhat outdated nature of this set's design, it is a great addition to anyone's collection. That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.